Hello, 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 Taurians. Yes, this is a reading for the sun sign that is Taurus. And boy, do we have some cards for you. Yep, Major Arcana, all five. No joke. <laughs> a lot of Major Arcana. Okay, so this is a reading for... Oh, sorry, for those that don't know, Major Arcana are basically very major cards within the tarot deck. Okay? Like prime cards, primary cards, if you like. Um, big hitters. Yeah, a bit like, you know, if you had an, uh, ash, um, um, a car or a vehicle analogy, you would say the big, you know, the big trucks, the big 18-wheeler trucks of the road that take up the road. Um, yeah, you've got five of them. Okay, so, yeah, um, this is a reading for the Taurus Sun Signs for period May 22nd all the way through to June the 4th, all within the year 2023. Okay, so May 22nd, 2023 through to June 4th, 2023. And so my guides are just tapping me on the shoulder saying they'd like to kind of um, start the reading. So I'm going to jump straight in. And I'm just going to relay what messages they have for you, Taurus, okay? So, firstly, they're saying, yes, Major Arcana, you have um, a lot of powerful energy coming in because um, very soon, I think it's around May 17th, approximately, maybe a little bit earlier, give or take, um, a couple of days. Um, well, yeah, it could be a bit later or it could be a bit earlier. <laughs> They're saying, um, sorry, they, they're, they're pushing me, they're teasing me, saying, come on, get on with the reading. And listen carefully, they're saying, Jupiter is moving into Taurus, okay? Hence the kind of very somewhat powerful energies that are coming in for you. Um, and don't forget the nodes, for many of you that don't know, but nodes are just like energetic points within within astrology. Um, the, node, and they've been in, the nodes have been in um, Taurus and Scorpio, because Taurus is op opposite Scorpio. If you look at an astrological wheel in a birth chart, you've got Taurus, um, and then right opposite, you've got Scorpio. Yeah, So you've had the north node in your sign for this last, well, just over a year now. So, so you've had a lot of eclipses in your sign as well. Um, and in Scorpio. We recently just had a, an eclipse in Scorpio, actually, which was opposing your sign, hence this intense energy as well. That was on May 5th, depending on where you are in the world, give or take a day, okay? So, yeah, um, yeah, you had a lunar eclipse in, 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 in Scorpio, um, a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio recently. So, um, well, you didn't, but it was opposing you opposing your sun sign Taurus okay so not to get too much into astrology but that was just to give you kind of um, a heads up as to why the energy is so kind of intense at this moment in time because you have had these energetic centers let's say to keep it simple the north node in your sign for the last year and a half and basically it's almost like closing out a cycle for you guys um, but reopening anew yeah so it's the kind of beginning of a new cycle Jupiter is coming into your sign um, it's basically, yeah, done a 12-year rotation approximately because Jupiter rotates, you know, it takes like a 12-year cycle. So, yeah, it's a whole new chapter for Taurus. Um, so if you've got a Taurus sun, this reading is going to be pretty intense for you. And what they're saying, but in a good way, yeah, because what they're saying is that there's a bit of a, yes, there's a culmination um, with this tower, the bottom card um, of this five-card sp card spread. Um there's a bit of, ah, sorry, before I continue, what they're saying is last week or the last two weeks, we had a three week, a three card reading. This is a five card reading with the center card being the kind of pervading energy or pervasive energy within, within the read. Okay. So you've got the magician, which is wonderful. Um, but yeah, so at the bottom of the, um, five card spread, you've got the tower, which is kind of breaking down um, certain aspects of you, actually, you know, in order to allow for the new. So it's a bit like, and actually they're showing me a chrysalis. It's almost like actually, it, it's both. It's breaking down old aspects of you, um, which, you know, you're, you're being encouraged to release 
and you've had to do it, you know, aspects of your shadow self, the self that you may be, you know, that you'd probably agree you didn't, didn't really want to be around, like, you know, for example, for you guys, maybe there's a certain level of stubbornness is what I'm tuning into, and maybe you've been breaking some of that down, so you can be a bit more somewhat vulnerable to let more love into your lives. Um, but also, they're showing me a chrysalis, yeah, like, it's almost like the tower's kind of the chrysalis, it's like breaking down the chrysalis so that this new self, this new butterfly can emerge. And actually the butterfly analogy is kind of, it's quite pervasive actually in other readings as well, um, to some degree. And it may not, you know, spirit may not use the words, or I may not use the words butterfly, but that transformation, yeah, is that metamorphosis is really kind of coming into play um, for this next couple of weeks and beyond. Um, and I'm being drawn to the high priestess, actually. And um, in traditional tarot, it's almost like there can be some, you know, subconscious shadow aspect to the high priestess, but that's not what I'm picking up. What I am picking up is very much that your intuition is really switched on, Taurus, Taurians. So please, please, please trust it, yeah? You may be getting some serious, like, insights into things. Um, and they're very kind of somewhat spiritual, you know, I'm going to put it in that box. It's almost like profound wisdom is coming through, which is very apt for the high priestess. Because the high priestess is very much, I, I always see it as a, I just get this resonance of Pisces and somewhat Cancer as well, a very watery feel to the high priestess. I know other people get other associations, but that's just what I feel very often when I even use the word the high priestess, I think of Pisces. I know priestess sounds like Pisces to some degree, you know, with the P's and the S's, <laughs> the S sounds. But yeah, there's an, a, a, so a kind of a connection there for me. But and, and, but that's kind of what I'm picking up that and Pisceans are very intuitive and so are Cancerians, you know, among other signs, but they are quite, yeah, somewhat big hitters in the intuitive space, somewhat, somewhat, okay? Um, but I'm actually feeling your intuition, because you are very intuitive also, Taurians, um, I'm feeling your intuition is really online at the moment, okay? And that's allowing you to flow with the full. So if you go to the left-hand card, so the top card is, for those that don't know, is the high priestess, the bottom card is the tower, the middle card is the magician, the left-hand side is the fool, and the right-hand side is the justice card. You can see all of these cards in the description. I've labeled them. Um, but yeah, but they're not labeled on screen. Intentionally, I just want you to focus on the image and my voice um, and your feeling and your energy and all that. So um, the fall on the left hand side, yeah, you know, your intuition, being able to trust your intuition really takes you into being able to embody that aspect of the fall, which is just to just kind of walk through life trusting. Yeah, not overthinking things. Um, just, for example, they're showing me this um, example of, you know, a mother going shopping. Just put stuff in the basket. Now, be careful. <laughs> you know, please, disclaimer, this, you know, accord, you know, just to respect YouTube and their rules, I must, must, must disclaim that these, like I have in the description, these readings are for entertainment purposes only, so please discern and trust your own inner guidance, yeah? Um, but the image I'm getting is just, you know, this mother going to a supermarket and not overthinking things, just put stuff in the basket. Why are you thinking so much? You know, you're counting all your money, you're thinking, you know, this, you know, do I need this, do I need that? And you're really over overthinking, just put stuff in the basket, you know? And that, same, that may sound really, really strange. What they're actually bringing up is that you already know what you need, but you're overthinking it. So they're asking you to release that over, you know, that overthinking. Yeah, I mean, Taurus, the bull. It's a very earthy kind of, you You have a connection to the earth, somewhat more than other signs, you know, at least um, alongside Capricorn and Virgo, which are also your fellow earth signs. But it is, it's like you don't need to think so much. You can actually just trust. So I'm seeing a, you know, a mother with a baby and it's like the baby knows its needs, you know, and it will let you know, it will cry when it needs this or cry when it needs that or I'm not saying crying always equates to needing something, but, you know, just to simplify the analogy. You also have your own kind of inner, you know, GPS. You know exactly what you need, okay? So they're saying to trust your body more as opposed to your head. Hmm, interesting, yeah? Trust your body more as opposed to your head because your heart is in your body. I don't just mean your physical heart, your spirit. When I say your heart, your soul is in your body. It's intelligent. It knows what you need also. 
yeah you may do a double take you may put some random cookies in your <laughs> you know <laughs> in your shopping trolley and blame the baby but no maybe you needed those cookies you know because I'm actually speaking to somebody quite specifically who's always kind of like trying to overthink their diets and cholesterol and again if you need you know if you need nutrition help and what have you yes you can choose to seek professional help I'm not coming from that um, although I have qualifications in nutrition I'm not coming from that professional um, standpoint on YouTube right here right now okay so it's just you know for entertainment purposes only somewhat disclaimer um, but it is a you know it's a tarot reading I mean, it's a channeled message from divine loving spirit so take it as you will um, but they're saying many of you know I'm tuning into someone who's really kind of counting over counting their calories and it's just like just have the cookies <laughs> you know, let them get into let them find their way into the basket you know I'm sure the baby will smile too um, but anyway anyway but I'm sure the baby doesn't really you know um, want to start chewing on cookies um, until it gets teeth but <laughs> I think you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to say um, or no babies can you know there's a if you give a baby a nice soft Farley's rusk I'm not promoting Farley's rusks but they can be very nice to suck on for a baby um, a soft cookie <laughs> you know where are we going with the spirit where are we going okay we're going straight to justice balance yeah they're kind of talking about balance I mean this kind of kind of frames what we're talking about is finding a balance within your day-to-day -day life actually is because you know you can really let go and this is the new chapter you're going into you're going to start trusting your body more okay and and less of your mental activity because it can get pretty frenetic and it has been for a lot the, the mental space has been very active for many actually over these last few months it's been pretty intense a very lot you know Pluto is changing signs it already has but it's in retrograde just again tapping into astrology Pluto transit transit is quite a major transit so just to let you know the planet Pluto um, but it's shifting signs into Aquarius it is in Aquarius now but it's going to go back into Capricorn for a little bit and then it's going to go back into Aquarius for the next 20 years so we're going through a big transitional phase so lots of changes yeah and people are being encouraged to really get into their heart space which basically also means get into your body and trust the body more than the mental space okay because you can get very confused up there sometimes yeah but you are also they are doubling down you are still very intuitive at this moment in time in the headspace as well you know with the high priestess like we mentioned before like spirit mentioned before um, but they're encouraging you to be the bull to some degree but not the bull in the china shop just the bull with that moves through the earth with somewhat um, some ethereal confidence is what they're saying <laughs> okay <laughs> I'll go with that um, yeah um, what else spirit do we have what else do we have for Taurus Sun signs readings they're actually encouraging some of you to take up tarot or Oracle yeah, I'm seeing a, an oracle deck. Okay, this is a very specific message. Firstly, they're saying to someone, there's an oracle deck that you're really looking at and they're encouraging you just to go for it and buy it because you can't go wrong. Um, and also, uh, there uh, there are no mistakes. Just, just do it. Um, they're encouraging you to do it, so it's your choice. <laughs> but they're also tuning into quite a few Taurians who are looking into, like, learning how to do to read tarot and what have you and they're saying go for it it's a great time to do that because this kind of you know let's say occult study will really support a lot of questions that you have in your own life and it'd be a great learning tool for you to grow and evolve okay i mean it's it's pervasive on youtube now you know people reading tarot there are just like endless tarot readings so they're not saying you need to jump on youtube and start reading tarot for a job they're just saying some of it it can be a wonderful study like i personally you know many many years ago when i conscious when i became very conscious that i was on a spiritual journey i got into the i ching it just resonated with me you know the i ching this ancient devon chinese divination system and it was it just the words in the book just felt so part of my energy system it just felt really natural to some degree I didn't understand everything that you know was being said because it's very poetic to some degree and very philosophical um, and metaphorical but yeah the abstract nature of it you know can be confusing but it really resonated with me and that's what I got into 
you know, was the I Ching and among other domination systems. But they're just, in, they're just, I'm just sharing that with you because they're really encouraging you to get into Tarot, you know, and even runes. Runes can be a wonderful tool for divination and just understanding the self. These are all methods to understand the self and evolve, yeah? They don't have to be that you have to go and read for other people and become this, you know, well-known psychic who sees the future and all that. A lot of unlocking your psychic ability isn't, to sit there giving readings for people looking into the future. It's an experience for the self, you know, to know itself and realize how we, how everything works in the universe. Yeah, seeing the future isn't even isn't what you what everyone makes it out to be. Sometimes it's better not to know, okay? Um yeah, I mean, okay, they're telling me to tell this story just a little bit really quickly. It's like I used to, you know, tune in very, very psychically into certain people when I was doing readings for people and tell them things that, you know, you just basically pretty much tell them what they had for breakfast and it would freak people out. They'd be like, oh my God, how do you know this? And then when you then told them what they were asking you, like maybe they were saying, you know, my dream is to do this, can I, you know, how should I go about it? And then you tell them, well, no, actually your dream is more aligned this way. People used to get really angry and freak out. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes asking for the truth and telling people the truth is, you know, without the sugar, without the sugar coating is, is, is harsh and people don't want to know. So sometimes knowing the future and telling the people the future, because it, it, certain things can be predicted. It's sometimes it's best not to. So that's not why spirit are encouraging you to get into occult studies. It's actually for your own personal growth. Okay. So I won't say too much. And that's why I also have learned to sugarcoat things very well. Yeah, very, very sweet sugars <laughs> on certain readings. Because although someone's asking the truth, very often they don't want to hear it. All right, and sometimes they're not ready for it. Okay, so Taurus, I know it's a bit of a interesting dance of dance through this reading, somewhat a metaphorical dance, but um, yeah, that's what Spirit have to share with you, and I'm going to leave it there. So that was a reading for the Taurus sun signs, not the moon, not the rising. We're focusing on Taurus sun signs, okay? So if that's you, then maybe this reading will resonate you, with you, but maybe remember it's a general reading. Um, yeah, and so it may not resonate with all of you um, for this two weeks, okay? But I'm going to say all the YouTube things, like, subscribe if you so choose, yeah? And then if you subscribe, I guess you can click the notification buttons and get notifications of when I upload videos, all right? Um, yeah. Thank you for your presence on the channel Caramel and Coconut Tarot. Peace out.